Hello, and welcome back to my place. So we got to see what it's like sitting in prison in this game. Uh. And you will know the truth. Oh, it's a machine gun section. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. <laughs> so, I mean, he's right. I know. It's easy. We, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull. But the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. In the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? <laughs> now that you mention it... No. Then what was that <laughs> pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Oh, boy. that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Go quick! Take a look at this thing! I can see this! He's got a gun on the back! Oh my lord, day! I never seen such a great Iron Dragon! That's the devil's work if I ever They told me about these! The <laughs> army's been building them in secret! Oh my god! How kind of is that? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads! Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. Yeah, they're inventing Kirby the tank, I'm guessing. Away outside town. 
They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. Jesus. Here the cow! Look, they brought the machine gun! Oh boy, this is very military. What's the word? A lot Captain? of build up. We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Hold your fire until I give the word. All right. Where are they supposed to be? There they are! Open fire! Come and get me! That one, we should have gotten this a long time ago! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. What is it? Dead. Oh boy. <laughs> Retry from checkpoint. <laughs> Jesus. Fingers on the triggers, boys. How do I hide? on the horizon. Fire at will! Not exactly an off road, to be honest. Goddamn savages! We'll kill every last one of ya! 
Look where you're driving! God fucking damn it. How am I supposed to know which ones are throwing grenades and how am I supposed to deal with it when I'm shooting at someone else? Bullshit! You want me now? Help that I tend to be hitting the fucking. Hiding behind the rock! Shut him down! Goddamn savages! St. Peter for me or something. I don't even know. Assholes. Where are they? Where the fuck are they? That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight on our cavalry. Die? The truth will s set. Okay. No, it's just the first half of another. Okay. Fine. <sighs> Jesus, fuck. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. Yeah. But what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Yeah. Let's move out. Yeah, she's the she's the final member of the, huh? of the gang after all. I can't believe Vandalin has built himself a fortress in the mountains. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. You've already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with that Indian chap. I've seen it all right. We'll be lucky to last five minutes with this many men. Oh, well, that's what that is. Very 
Nate Johns? What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning the filth out of this region. Yeah, I think he wants to run for president. Dutch realizes what a great favor he has done us, inciting all this hate among the natives. Like you needed an excuse. See, this is what happens when you fraternize with savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? How could you ever follow a man like Ross? Vanderlind is a psychopath, a murderer, and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. A far better man than you. So what made him this way? I don't know. Bastards like you. Seeing that things never change. I hope you're ready to finish this mess. Anything to get you sons of bitches off my back. There's always somebody watching, Mr. Marston. I thought you'd have gleaned that much by now. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were clever. You thought you could just walk away from your old life. Make no mistake, we have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slug, Marston. All we need now is Father Christmas. Instead of punishing you for your crimes, we are giving you a chance to kill the men who betrayed you. You didn't have to punish my wife, too. Oh, please. She's hardly innocent. Don't you talk about her like that! Oh, I would never talk ill of dear Abby. Do you call her Abby or Abigail? I prefer Abby. No, oh, I like the woman. A little rough for my taste, but very pleasant. I can't wait to put a bullet in your head. When will this be over? It's you who's been dragging it out, not us. We sent you to Fort Mercer with the simple task of killing Bill Williamson. Next thing you know, you're running all over Mexico like a headless chicken. And now it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your merry band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm, or what's left of it. If need be, you can always send your wife back out to work. I hear she works hard. Go to hell! This old gang of yours just won't die easily, will it? I wonder how many deaths you are all responsible for. How much money you took from pockets of hard-working citizens. We did more for the people with the money we took than the damn government ever did. Good God! This flawed philosophy yours again. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, I suggest you learn to read first. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the front, not the back. This conversation is going to lead to something weird. Plus, I'm pretty sure John knows how to read. Wasn't that one of the things he said Dutch taught him? <laughs> took them out of the gutter, taught them how to read and shit, and then they went as a gang for a while. I haven't played Red Dead Revolver. I'm told that Red Dead Redemption doesn't really take that much from it, but it's still supposed to be the same. Like, it's supposed to be a sort of sequel uh, to, to Red Dead Revolver. Or at least has some, some characters in common with it, or something with it, like uh, along those lines. Um, so I'm considering playing Red Dead Revolver just for the sake of like finding out just how much is Red Dead Redemption like taking from Red Dead. Do you even play as John in, in the first game? Like, <laughs> I could just look up, look it up on Wikipedia, of course. Damn it, dog. Okay, just a second. Uh, display. This should make it easier to see f for you guys to see what the fuck is going on. Come on. 
to bed. So not much. I sh I, I'll assure you that the, the, the brightness on my TV is turned up a lot higher. ending it feels like this isn't feels like it would have more like can run away Go! Get down! Go! there we go Ain't outlaws, you're idiots. <laughs> okay. God damn it. Retry from checkpoint. And the truth will set you free. <laughs> Push into the village! Come on, let's finish this! This way. 
You man the Gatling gun, Marston! Son of a bitch! You'd be more useful on that gun over there! Fucking hell. Let's go, man! Move into the village! Alright. Marston, use that Gatling gun! We'll take him out from the ridge! Die! Okay. So maybe I got a little bit overzealous. No boxes up here to loot? I guess if this is the ending, I won't be 100%ing it. But I wasn't going to be a be able to anyway, because like I'm really bad at the mini games. I'm sorry for whoever asked for one. I'm sorry whoever asked for a 100 percenter. Uh, no, <laughs> I I'm I'm just not good enough we'll at the game to do it. Rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I, and I don't care enough fire. to like play the mini games and to like power through the All mini right, games. Man. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top! Cover up! This ain't good! Marston! You leave us wide open! Just a bunch of women playing outlaw! We lost one! Keep up the fire! What? I I shot as much as I could. This is it, man. Let's get that gate down. Keep them covered now, Marston. Hold them off. We need time to set the explosive. <laughs> what are you doing? Shoot them. I'll gun down the lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> what did they expect? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Where am I supposed to be hiding? All right, though? man. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top. Cover them. Son of a bitch. Can I please have something better? Everyone get back! Here it comes! You tend to your wounded! I gotta face Dutch alone! 
Looks like it's me and you, John. Oh no. Stayed at home. You better follow me. Okay, no. No. Okay. I'm supposed to shoot the lambs, I get that, but I you saw me try and shoot. It didn't help. Okay. My dead uncle shoots straighter than you. Yeah, I'm supposed to shoot those. He's up there. Just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. God fucking damn it. Yeah, this is definitely the ending of the game. <laughs> I hope the family's actually alive after all this. <laughs> you can't erase the past, John. Him and me, it won't make it go away. That's where you're wrong. He doesn't have a way out, apparently. John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, not. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. 
That's their business. Our time has passed. Yeah. Okay. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Do actually get to see the or, or, or just a second? We're not ending the episode till I have seen Abigail Marston alive. Okay. It leads back to you. And I know the only compass that I need. Oh, is the one. We were by Beaches Hope though before. Burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close to fall. Away from the home of your arms, I stray off the radar and into harm's way. Now I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one. Back to you. Is this really the ending? Jesus, John. Sit like empty scribbles. Such empty caffeinated riddles. hope here we go oh here we go
Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Aww. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. <laughs> Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, well, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack. Go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learn to cook. Yes. Didn't I say, rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. I bet they did. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys watching this episode of Vanguard Place. I guess we're doing the final mission next time. Uh, depending on how short it is. I'll see you guys then.